In this video, we introduce Medusa, a multi-touch table that is capable of detecting a rich set of proximity information, and also present a set of interactions that leverage this information. Medusa is composed of a Microsoft Surface device and 138 infrared proximity sensors. The proximity sensors are arranged in three rings around the surface. There is a ring of outward-facing sensors placed around the perimeter of the base, and on top of the table there are two rings of sensors, an outer ring and an inner ring, facing upward from the bezel. As a user approaches the display, their body is detected and its approximate location is determined by the outward facing sensors. The user's location and distance from the tabletop is continually monitored as the user walks around the surface. The outer ring of upward facing sensors is able to detect the presence of hands and arms. Combined with the known location of the body, Medusa can infer which arm is present. In our visualization utility, an orange marker indicates that Medusa has identified the user's right hand, and a purple marker indicates the left hand. The opacity of the markers indicates their height above the surface. When the inner ring of sensors becomes activated, Medusa can infer that the user's hand is above the surface. The disparity of activation locations between the outer and inner rings enable Medusa to determine the approximate angle of user's arms, as visualized by the cone seen here. Combining this information, Medusa can match touch events to users and their hands. Here, a touch is detected by the surface. Medusa is able to label this touch as coming from the right hand. Now the left hand. And now it distinguishes between right and left hands. Medusa can also determine which touches belong to which user. To explore the interaction design space that this sensing information enables, we have created ProxySketch, a system used to create and edit mockups of user interfaces by adding and manipulating individual UI components. Medusa recognizes when users are present and represents them on screen using a glowing orb. If a user approaches, their orb comes into focus and invites them to log in. Once logged in, the orb minimizes to the corner of the screen. The orb provides an area for the user to perform orb-specific gestures. For example, a swipe to the left allows the user to open a file that is associated with their user account. When a user logs out or walks away from the surface, their orb changes to gray and eventually disappears. With Proxy Sketch, different commands are assigned to each hand. For example, dangerous actions, such as clear the canvas, are hidden unless the user taps the sketching canvas with their non-dominant hand. When the user touches the sketching canvas with their dominant hand, a marking menu appears, allowing the user to perform more common actions. Hand choice is also used to differentiate between group and individual manipulations. If a user has created a group of components and only wants to manipulate one element within the group, they can drag that element with their right hand. If the user wants to manipulate the entire group, they can do so with their left hand. To increase the precision of physical manipulations, Proxy Sketch differentiates manipulation transforms based on which hand is used. Here, when a user touches a component with one finger, they can move it. When the user touches the component using two fingers from the same hand, they can rotate it. If the user touches the component with one finger from each hand, they can scale the component. The proximity information enables Proxy Sketch to provide pre-touch information. For example, if a user hovers over the outer ring of sensors, a global gesture guide appears. If the user hovers above their orb, they can see a guide for orb-specific gestures. If the user moves their left hand over a component, a delete icon will appear. If the user moves their right hand over a component, they will see a marker that provides access to a component-specific marking menu. Proxy Sketch also supports new gestures that combine touch and depth information. If a user wishes to rearrange the z-order of a component, they can touch the component and move their arm upwards, thereby moving the components to the topmost position. To move a component to the bottom, the user moves their arm downwards while touching the component. Proxy Sketch also helps users manage collaboration. When users are working together, the last element a user has touched cannot be manipulated by other users. If the user wishes to give up control of a component, they can take a small step back from the surface. The user's orb changes to gray and they release control of the component. If a user does not want to be bothered by passers-by, they can enter a do not disturb mode by tapping two fingers on their orb. In this mode, all other users are presented with a red prohibited orb, 
and are blocked from touching the surface or manipulating content. Proxy Sketch also assigns different functionality to different sides of the tabletop. Here, the user can transition between low and high fidelity prototypes by simply walking to another side of the table, giving them a fresh point of view. As we have seen, Medusa's fully integrated proximity sensors provide new possibilities for enriching users' experiences with multi-touch tabletop systems.